What's up guys and welcome to Paris, France, 420 AM. For the longest time, you guys have been asking me to play one particular game for years and years now. This is probably one of my most requested games that I've yet to play. It's a PS2 classic, it's one of my favorites, and it's a lot of fun. I just wanna say before we get started, though, thank you guys so much for your support over the years. We've played through almost every PS2 classic of my childhood, and this time, we're tackling Sly Cooper and the Thebius Raccoonus. This game is so cool if you've never had the opportunity of playing it before, it's really fun. I'm gonna say right now that we're not going to be doing 100% just because I just wanna sit back and enjoy the game. Much like our Ration and Clank 1, 2, and 3 on the PS2 Let's Plays, it's just gonna be relaxed, enjoying the game, having a good time. So if you do enjoy this first episode, let me know in the comment section below along with giving this video a like. But for now, let's get started. Sly, come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. All right then, so we play as Sly Cooper. Let's go. <laughs> and those were our pals, Bentley and Murray. Sony Computer Entertainment. I love this, it's like an interactive like credits. I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. According to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the Ooh. circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. All right then, so we'll do exactly just that. We can also beat up a lot of things for coins. Coins are pretty important in this game, so we'll need them, so we'll go and beat this stuff up. I actually haven't played this game in at least, like, I think I played it like through once or twice, and then I never really touched it too much ever again. So, it's gonna be hard for me to remember how to do things at first, for sure. We just bounced off that old mattress. But uh, I think after I get a little more used to it, it'll be fine. Of course, like Sly Cooper and, I mean, of course, like Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter. Here, oh, there you go, you have to hold circle. Um, it's a third person platformer with its own elements mixed in as well. It's all about stealing. You're a bad guy in this, sort of, kind of. <laughs> Which I think is pretty darn awesome. Alrighty then, whoa. What in the world's going on now? Extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention, you'll be fried to a crisp. Oh my. All right, let's hop down here, not hit the laser beams just like that, and then, hi -ya! There you go, we got rid of all of them there. Pretty darn awesome, I love this game nice so much. Job. you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Hmm, red door. Liz wanted, <laughs> that's not French. That's just saying, <laughs> that's replacing French words with English words. All right, so we're trying to find the red door. I don't see a red door yet, I'll have to keep looking around. Maybe it's down here. Not sure, let's see. Oh, there it is, but it's locked. All right, well, luckily we can go through here. Must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. Oh boy, be careful. Oh geez, go. It's a long drop. Oh, wow, that's so cool. And you can hear the police sirens too. All right then, oh, nobody's in here, right? Doesn't look like it. Oh, look at this safe. Way to go, Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. All right then, so we'll see a lot of these throughout the game, these vaults, and we'll have to get the code from Bentley, but Bentley can only get it at certain times. But let's open up our first safe and we will find the file. Ooh, and it's all about us. <laughs> nice job, you got it. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Sounds good. Let's throw that in the back of our backpack and leave a little note from us. 
I love that, it's so cool. You just like, now you know that Sly did it and he doesn't even care that you know. All right, let's go and get all these coins too. I, I don't exactly remember what the coins are for, I just remember needing coins. So I'm gonna pick some up if I can. So where are we going now? Uh-oh. Whoa, uh-oh. You foolish raccoon, I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. All right then, oh geez, she's angry till she's shooting at us. <laughs> oh no, so I guess this is our nemesis in crime. All right, then let's see, you run down here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, go, go, go. <laughs> she's really good with that shot, we're gonna be careful. Oh no, and she's still shooting at us. Go, whoa, -ho -ho. okay, just keep going. Don't stop. Oh no, oh, there's, there's the van though. Come on, Murray, open the door, open the door. There you go, come on, come on. There you go, we're in there. <laughs> you can't escape me, raccoon! You say so, I, I mean, I just got made a clean getaway. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Oh no. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Well, it looks like we have a lot on the line then. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Okay then, so this is where we can go ahead and just sort of choose stuff. I've already plotted a route to our first target. All right then, so it looks like we're starting our new mission, let's head on in. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. All right, Sly Cooper in. Tide of terror. Oh, scary. <laughs> I love how they set it up nearly like a TV show or like, I don't know, like a series of movies. It's really awesome. 
But here we are, level number one. And like I said, my big goal isn't 100% as much as it is in just enjoying the game. So with that being said, we'll try to get what we can. If we know something's there, we'll definitely go and go our lengths to get it, just like we did with like Ratchet and Clank and the, you know, the golden titanium bolt, all that kind of stuff. But let's keep going and oh my, oh, this is so nostalgic. I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> I love the character dynamic, but you can see over here, there will be sometimes little clues in bottles. We can pick those up. We need 20 of those. The message you just found appears to be some sort of clue. I'll decipher it here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. All right. So one thing I like about this game is one thing, the design of everything. Um, if we get closer to the enemies here, the music will start picking up, getting a little more scary, then I'll punch the dude in the face. Well, pow. <laughs> and it's just, I remember playing the demo of this when I was a kid, being so scared of when the music got picked up like that. We can knock this over too. Get a bunch of clues in a bottle. So we'll try to find as many of those clues as possible because those are a big leader to the 100%. Beyond that, um, they're just nice to find. It's not that satisfying about it, but uh, hmm. Speaking of which, let's go up here and and the music score in this game is so good, too. Let's climb up this. I need to press circle, right? Um, oh. <laughs> Getting used to the game might be a little bit of a task. All right, hop up here and pick up these coins. Can I do anything with this? Guess not. Hmm, interesting. Looks like that's probably how I'm getting over this gate, though. We'll find out in a moment, because this, yep, this is definitely closed off. All right, give me these coins. And what's going on over here? Privat, oh, this is private. I thought, I thought it was something else in French. Nope, not private anymore. The sign ain't there, so you can't tell me not to. <laughs> Coin recycler. All right, then we're already getting a bunch of trophies as well. All right, let's run over here and plop down on this. Give me that. <laughs> this is so cool. I've been wanting, like I said, I haven't played this game in the longest time. So it's had to be like three or four years now. So it's good to play it again. <laughs> hmm. Now this doesn't look good though. Looks like they have some spotlights looking out for us. Let's get over here and pick up these coins before anything else. Oh, oh. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. All right then, so we get checkpoints too. Let me pick up these coins though, so we gotta be careful. We do not want to get caught by this light or it might be zapped. So let's watch the pattern for it. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, oh geez, okay. I got caught there, but I was able to stop it. Oh, no, don't you be throwing your, throw, are those throwing stars? Or are you just throwing four starfish at me? Ow, first death, way to go. <laughs> All right, this dude's being a pain in the butt. This time we got him, watch this. Wait, whoa, whoa, hiya, gotcha. Luckily, it's actually pretty fast paced. You know, it's like it takes one shot to take out enemies, it takes one shot for me to get taken out. It has like a good balance to it. There's a checkpoint for us. All right, let's run up here. And uh-oh, here's another one. Maybe we can sneak up on this dude? According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know. That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. For rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. All right, it's on. I'll sneak up on Big Butt Magoo here. Come on, no, no, no boom, gotcha. Uh oh, looks like we got a waterfall. Is this current strong? Oh, you bet it is, that's really strong. All right, let me pick up these. We're 13 out of 20, not bad so far. Here, let's jump across here, pick up these coins. Now the coins I think are also gonna get us an extra life. Oh, it gave me a horseshoe. Oh, now I remember. With the horseshoe, we can take an extra hit. Coins, coins everywhere. 
<laughs> All right, come over here and get 15 out of 20. We're making our way through for sure. And then, huh, what is this? Good job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. All right. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Ready, set, jump. Yeah, all right, awesome. Hmm, so we still got a lot to go here. Now these levels are always really dynamic because unlike, you know, something like Ratchet and Clank where it is sort of like one linear level, this is sort of like, I don't know, harder to explain, there's like a hub area and then there are levels within that hub. So you will see more of that in the coming episodes. So with that being said, let's keep going. Uh, hmm, let's hop across here and keep going. Ooh, jumping. And then, hmm. <laughs> this is so bizarre. I just like, it's it's weird remembering all this too. Whoa, 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 late. Okay, watch out. Hmm. Now I, said, now I said early in the episode that Sly is sort of a bad guy. Not really, he is a good guy. It's just that he is also a thief. And you know, being a thief is sort of like being a bad guy, even though you were most definitely a good guy. Like, he's a cool dude. Like, he only thieves from, of course, criminals. So it balances out at the end of the day. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues in bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Exactly, so if we find all the clues in an area, we can get that. That's where the 100% comes in and where I'm gonna stop worrying about it so much. Uh, we'll get it here just because I think the final four we need are just up here. So I'm not really too worried about it for this first level because of how easy it is, but it can get quite difficult. And for those areas, we're just not gonna worry about it. We're here to enjoy the game. Now, Sly, can you please go the right way? <laughs> Thank you. All right, now, yep, these are our last two over here, I think. And then we'll be good to go. Hmm, yep, come on, Sly, you can do it. There you go, good job. All right, and 19 and 20. Sly, that's the final clue to crack the code. Now find out both, and I'll give you the instructions to open it. All right, cool, then let's open this up. Circle to enter the vault code. Will do. The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. Ooh, alrighty then. Seven, nine, and then two. And then what do we get inside this one? Knock open the vault and find another clue. Or another piece of the paper, whatever it is. I found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. And this is where it becomes really helpful as well because you do unlock brand new moves out of these. So it's not just sort of like a simple like, oh, you collected the secret, that's it. No, it's like you can you get a brand new move. So that's actually a really cool addition to it. I actually, I won't, I'll be honest, I completely forgot that's what you got from here. I told you, I, I've been, I haven't played this game in years. Now what is this over here, a key? Ooh, we got it, hooray, key found. Doo -doo. <laughs> I love it, it's like Super Mario 64 or Banjo-Kazooie, and with that, we can open up this door. Now, keys will be very helpful for progressing in the game. With that being said, I think we'll be done progressing in the game for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievish Raccoonus. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Sly Zebra so you've watched to the end of the video and that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for your support. I really do hope you enjoy this let's play of this really fun game. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.